Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck, and today we're doing a nice beginner friendly glueless install. So this one comes courtesy of Yes Girl and the most tea thing about this one is that you can find this one on Amazon. Of course I have a direct link in the description box but I pulled her up on Amazon and she is available for Prime. So today is Tuesday. If I check out now I can get her on Thursday and she's pretty affordable at that. So for this one, she is a 10 inch light yakky bob. And I love the versatility of this one because when you think bob, you think kind of boring and plain. And I mean, it can be, but you can definitely vibe this one out. What I love about this one is that I do like to wear her glueless. So she's 100% not glued down at all. Again, today is Valentine's Day in real time. So I did wear her for my Valentine's Day festivities. And I do love the fact that I was able to pull her off and it didn't slide, it didn't move. I definitely felt like, you know, she gave a vibe. And I can move her around on my own. So if I want like a deep side part, we can definitely shift her like so. If I want to bring her up and give more of an asymmetrical vibe, we can also do that. I really love to do a good behind the ear moment. So you can do that with this one and it just gives like a clean girl aesthetic with your athleisure Lululemon situation. I just love everything about this one and what's amazing is two things. You can get her on Amazon Prime. She's affordable and again, she's glueless. So that's three. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the install process. Be sure to check the description box for details, links, everything you need to know about this look and everything in the video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Jumping right into it, we're going to be doing a 100% glue list install featuring yes girl and this one is available on amazon prime i have the direct link in the description box she's a light yakky 10 inch blunt cut bob all the details are in the description box and the lace is hd lace they've also included the adjustable strap and i'm going to use that to anchor the wig on slide the back of the wig on and then the front and now we are pretty much installed this is what she looks like on as you guys can see the lace does not extend ear to ear the lace in the front is set like a closure so that you know you cut off the lace in the front in the center but again it is a c-shaped side part so keep that in mind you won't be able to adjust the parting but definitely definitely you won't need to and i'll show you why in just a moment so I showed you a full view, a 360 view of what the wig looks like on from the back, the side, and the front. And this is what it looks like once you've cut the lace off. Look at this, guys. So you guys know I love my wax stick from BDECBD.com. I burn it into the ground. I don't care how many I have in stock. I always use it until I can't use it no more. It was on its last leg, and guess what? I'm going to still keep on using it. I'm going to stick beside it. So I went ahead and applied a little bit more and then we're going to go ahead and do the dynamic duo. If you follow me, you guys already know I love the wax stick paired with the electric high comb. This combo here is going to give you a super flat parting space. And then from there, we're just going to silk out the ends and just bump it. You guys can see you can wear it like blunt straight and it's going to give you a very edgy look. I personally prefer a little bump at the ends and of course the bump will eventually fall and relax but this is typically how I like to do my bobs. As I mentioned this one is 10 inches in length and the texture is light yakky. Light yakky tends to be my favorite because it gives more of a pressed straight or like you know African American hair vibe opposed to like the kinky or like the super yakky that is a lot more full. This just gives, 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 gives. And look how it looks from the back. Stiff wear. I love the natural sheen on this one. I love the texture on this one. The length, just everything about it is 10 out of 10. So now that we're done cutting off the lace and we've decided not to install, let's go ahead and make it look like ours by pretty much just tinting the lace in that parting space again you really can't shift the parting space you can clean it up but you're going to just be able to shift the entire wig i love love a good c part so it's the perfect part for me it goes back a nice length so it doesn't look too cheesy and yeah we are pretty much done with the install now that was literally as beginner friendly as it gets if you want to switch up the wig or switch up the wig rather you can kind of move it around and just kind of like 
find your perfect spot. And again, no smoke and mirrors. We didn't bond anything down. This was my Valentine's Day look. I did not get any pictures out at dinner. But of course, of course, I got the looks and the stares. And even my husband was like, oh, they want your butt. Because people just kept looking at me. And I don't know why, but I just, I just gave queen and royalty and all of the above. Okay, love bugs. So we are done with this look. Actually, we've been done with this look for a few hours now. Today is actually Valentine's Day, so I did go out to dinner with hubby and the kids. And so this was my Valentine's Day look of choice, and I absolutely loved it. So first of all, um, I wanted to wear a bob today regardless, so this one came in yesterday. So it was right on time. Very easy, glueless install, and when I say glueless, it's absolutely positively undoubtedly 100% glueless not meaning glue spray that is not glue or anything like that like it's not bonded down at all didn't get any compliments tonight because it was just family night but you know I got a couple of stares from people so I think we were looking good tonight um I was afraid as I was walking out like is it too wiggy should I bond it down should I add a little baby hair but I think it came out perfect and I mean it's set as a bob in itself but as you guys can see as I'm kind of fidgeting you can kind of do a couple things with it you guys know one of my favorite things to do is like the kind of behind the ear situation if you don't like that you can definitely you know leave it forward even sometimes you know especially like when you get in the thick of things if it's hot outside or you just rambling or rummaging with the kids or just working or whatever it's easy to go behind the ear on both sides and it kind of just gives like a little Dora moment or whatever the case may be but I think this looks good especially like with your athleisure um looks you can even put it in like a low mini micro ponytail I also like the fact that you can kind of shift it especially because we're not bonding it down so I kind of like to hold the sides and you guys know they have those combs in there so you kind of hold the combs and then it helps you to like shift it and find center this here is the perfect center and as you guys can see the cut is superior it's a perfect shoulder length where it's not like hugging or like kissing the shoulder it's more so hugging it where you know it sits on it pretty nicely you can pull it back if you want to get forehead you can pull it forward if you don't want to get forehead i got a big forehead so i'm gonna go right in the middle and do a happy medium again i love this one being out with the family i didn't feel self-conscious about it being um or not being bonded down i kind of felt like it was nice and secure it didn't slide back or move any at all um again it's the perfect length to give what it was supposed to give it gave install you guys know me i love a good baby hair moment so i personally would probably move it to the side a little bit more like this and then i might even just add a little bit of baby right here baby hair right here i'm gonna try not to do that because i like to keep this one as a simple like this one can sit on the mannequin head above in the closet and when it's time to go somewhere and i don't know what we have to put on it can always be this one because it fits glueless um it gives chic it gives sleek it gives clean um it just gives a vibe all by itself and then you guys already know i don't have to do anything i might have to just bump it bump the ends a little bit um if it's a little frizzy or whatever you can add a little wax around the perimeter and do the dynamic duo with the electric hot comb but again even if this one is like oily where it needs to be washed it's still going to serve and give what it needs to give. Okay, so this one did come in this box here. And of course, it just this is very simple and to the point. Yes, girl. But then in the inside, this is the dust bag. It's purple and it's just simple and sweet. It gives, um, you know, purple is royalty. And then we did get a couple of stuff. The wig or the box was actually wrapped with this nice little cute bow inside you get like an info card and then you also get instructions and how to measure and all that on the back a pack of nude wig caps and then you get this cute little holographic pouch and it does say yes girl on the front um this is reusable if i didn't just say that i think i said that and inside so of course you get an elastic band there isn't one inside as well but you can use this one to like secure the hairline or just whatever you need i like the fact that they gave that and then you get a edge brush this one has the rat cell on the end so i like that touch and then you get a cheetah print cheetah print melt belt so that's also a plus as far as this one goes i honestly didn't have any complaints it was literally a one two three step situation cut off the lace decide the position you want to put it in i did go in just for a little um finesse and just add a little wax 
and hot comb around the perimeter just to make sure it was super, you know, it was sitting right. And then we just went ahead and just made the parting blend perfectly with our complexion and we are good to go. Also, don't forget to moisturize your edges. You guys know I'm going to edge journey. So I've been using my L drops. I didn't show it in the video, but I did use it earlier in the day. So go ahead and let me know how you feel about this one. Also, you can leave in the comments some suggestions on some videos you'd like to see from me. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Direct link to this one and all the details are in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe before you head out. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!